Hello everyone, in this video we'll review The Giver on 4K Blu-ray. I'll offer my thoughts about the movie, video, and audio quality, but first let's dive into the specs. The Giver released in 1991 by New Line Cinema. This is a release by Unearthed Films. It's rated R. Runtime is 1 hour and 33 minutes. Aspect ratio is 1.85 by 1, so if you have a 16 by 9 screen, you will have tiny black bars on the top and bottom of your screen. This is a new 4K scan of the original 35 millimeter HDR is available in HDR 10. There are two English audio tracks, a DTS HD 5.1 and 2.0 stereo. Only English subtitles are available. This release includes a 4K Blu-ray, standard Blu-ray, and the original movie soundtrack on CD. The standard Blu-ray is the same 4K scan as the 4K disc, but downscaled to 1080p. A full list of the gear in my home theater and used in this review is in the description section below. You can also find links to other movie reviews, product reviews, DIY projects, and home theater takes. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. This movie will definitely be an acquired taste. It's weird, goofy, and campy, but it's fun. There's a clear intent to the tone of the movie. I appreciate it for its simplicity and playfulness. The movie is essentially about a young guy named Sean who finds an alien device called the Giver that merges with his body and turns him into an armored super being. The head of an evil corporation wants the Giver for himself. He sends his gang of mutants to find it. Along the way, Sean's girlfriend gets pulled in. She's in danger. The great Mark Hamill is in this movie. He plays a CIA agent. He's investigating the shady happenings at the evil corporation. The movie jumps right into the story. Plenty of action. Good pacing. It's over an hour and a half, but it felt like it went pretty fast. Don't expect a deep, substantive story. The dialogue and acting at times is a little over the top and cringy, but it's fun. It's an early 90s action superhero movie, and it's an okay ride. I give the movie a 2.5. This movie is grainy. If grain bothers you, you will not like the video presentation here. While the grain is quite present and a bit heavy, it was handled well. It's not especially distracting, nor did I notice any flickering. The video presentation does lean soft, but that has less to do with the restoration, which I thought was good, and more to do with the source and cinematography choices at the time it was filmed. There is good detail, but it's just not a sharp picture. It's also not a very colorful picture. The director was definitely going for a specific tone. The brighter scenes can get pretty bright. I would have preferred more detail in shadows and darker scenes, but blacks are pretty deep. I thought the restoration looked good, no blemishes or abnormalities in the video presentation. While I generally don't mind grain, it's a little heavy for me, and I would like a little more detail in darker scenes. Beyond those things, everything else was okay. I give video quality a 2.75. I listened to the DTS HD 5.1 track and it's good. There's atmosphere coming from the surrounds, a pretty rich background of sound. The score filled the room, nothing especially pronounced from the overheads. Dialogue was clear, not much LFE. It was very light. Scenes that I would have expected, some rumble, not much there at all. But generally audio is good, especially the use of surrounds and capturing atmosphere and background. I give audio a three. For me, having seen this when I was a kid, there's some nostalgia here. It's simple and fun. It's dark, but not super heavy. If you've seen this before and have fond memories, I recommend picking this up. This is likely as good as it will look and sound. If you haven't seen it and are interested in some campy early 90s action, then this may be something to check out. If you've seen this release, what are your thoughts? And if you have any questions about this release, leave those in the comments section below.